Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So what we have, we have a matrix space X T, and we have to show that a subset A of X is dense in F if and only if G intersection A is not equal to phi for every non-empty subset G of X. Okay. So if and only if thing is there, so that means we will assume one part. We will prove the second part, and then we will assume second part, and we will prove the first part. Okay. So let us start by assuming A is dense in X. Okay. So let us consider. Assume that A is dense in X. Do you know the definition of dense set? When we say the set is dense. If closure of that set is an entire matrix space X, then we say it is a dense set. So A is dense, so therefore we can write A bar is equal to X. So by definition of dense set, closure of A is equal to entire matrix space X. This is a given thing, right? Or this thing we have assumed. So what we have to prove? Let me write to prove that G intersection A not equal to phi for for each non-empty open set G in X. That means if you take any arbitrary non-empty open set, so definitely G intersection A is not equal to phi. That means in a simple language, we can say A intersect each and every non-empty open set. Let me draw the diagram so the picture will be clear to you. Such a matrix space X D we have, okay, and A is any set, A is any set which is dense in X. That means dense in X means its closure is X, and we have to prove that if you take any open set, non-empty open set G, the intersection is non-empty. Getting you can take open set G here also, then also the intersection is non-empty. So this thing we have to prove, right? So generally in mathematics, when we want to prove anything, we assume exactly opposite to that. Here also I will do the same. We have to prove that A intersects each and every non-empty open set. But see, I will assume let it possible there exists a non-empty open set G such that G intersection is equal to phi. So I am assuming exactly opposite to this, and I am writing let if possible. Let it possible there exist a non-empty open set G subset of X such that such that G intersection A is equal to phi. So I am assuming exactly opposite. Here we have to prove intersection is always non-empty, but we are assuming we are getting a non-empty open set G such that intersection is phi. Okay. So generally, in this technique, okay, we write some logical statements when we assume exactly opposite to the thing which we have to prove. We write logical statements, and at the end we get a big contradiction. So here also we expect that if you assume this thing, we will get contradiction. Let us go further. Okay, so let me draw the picture. What we have assumed? Such a matrix space X D we have. Okay, we have a set. A, which is dense in X, and here we are assuming we are getting a set G. We are getting a set G such that G intersection A is phi. There is nothing is common. Intersection is phi. So you can easily see here. This is G. That means this is its complement. So A subset of X minus G, getting A subset of X minus G. So intersection is phi. That means A is subset of complement of G, right? So we are familiar with one result that is if A subset of B, A bar subset of B bar. Okay, so we are familiar with this result. I am using it. If A subset of this one, A bar subset of X minus G bar. Okay. Let me remove this diagram so we will get some more space to write. But see, there is one thing we have that is, what we have G is open set. So let me mention G is open. If the set is open, its complement is closed. 
g is open that means x minus g is closed so there is one definition of closed set if set a is closed a is equal to a bar so here x minus g is closed that means x minus g bar is equal to x minus g since the set is closed so that's why a bar that closure of that set is same as that set okay so here also i can use this thing a bar subset of it's a clo closed set so that's why x minus g bar is equal to x minus g so i can write in this way okay but see equation one says a bar is equal to x let me put it here so x subset of x minus g right see x is subset of x minus g we are removing one set g from x and then also we are getting x is subset of x minus g this is possible only when g is empty set if g is nothing empty set nothing is there then x minus g is same as x right but see x is g is non empty set we have already assumed and we are getting g is equal to 5 so we get a contradiction because we have already assumed it is non empty but right now we are getting empty so we get a contradiction why we are getting a contradiction because our assumption is wrong our assumption was let it possible there exist a non empty set such that g intersection a is equal to phi let me mention therefore our assumption is wrong that means whatever we have assumed whatever i have written here that is wrong so therefore g intersection a must be non-empty it is not equal to phi for all non-empty open subset g of x so in this way we have proved the half part okay let us uh, try to prove the second half also in second half i will assume g intersection a is not equal to phi for all non-empty open subset g of x and we have to prove that a is dense in x okay just make a screenshot of it then we will go for the second part of this theorem so let us prove the converse part okay so i have already written everything here this thing we assume in a converse part that g intersection is not equal to phi for each non-empty open subset g of x we have to prove that a is dense in x that means what we have to prove what is definition of dense set dense set means a bar is equal to x so let me mention that is to prove that a bar is equal to x this thing we have to prove okay so basically x is one set a bar is a second set we have to prove that these two sets are equal how to prove two sets are equal the technique is we prove the first set is subset of second then we prove the second set is subset of first that's why we say both of them are equal tell me which one is obvious let me mention clearly see if you take any subset of x obviously uh, if you take any set okay in a matrix space xt obviously it is a subset of x so clearly a bar is one of the set in x so therefore a bar subset of x it's very obvious thing if you take any set obviously it is a subset of a entire matrix space x this thing we have the second part is little bit challenging now to prove that x is subset of a bar now to prove that that x is subset of a bar it is little bit challenging but not that much difficult see uh, we have to prove that x subset of a bar the simple technique we have we take one point from first set and we prove that it is in second set then we say first set is subset of second this is a technique which we use in mathematics right so late i am taking any arbitrary point x belongs to capital x b any arbitrary point so now my task is to prove that this x is in a bar so this is our task okay uh, see x belongs to x i have taken so clearly clearly b x r is an open set for all r greater than zero right tell me why since we know that every open ball see this is the open ball no with center x radius r 
one result we have already proved that is every open ball is an open set so that's why this is an open set let me mention the reason because every open ball is an open set every open ball is an open set so obviously this is an open ball so that's why it is an open set but see the thing which we have assumed let me mention by our assumption okay by our assumption see what thing we have assumed we have assumed that if you take any open set intersection with a is non empty so this is also one open set so by our assumption we can say b x r intersection a is also not equal to phi c. it is true for every it is true for each non empty open sub open set and this is also open set so that's why i can replace g by b of x comma r right so i got this one and this is true for all r greater than 0 okay since it is open ball for all r greater than 0 are you familiar with this have you seen this thing anywhere this is definition of closure okay closure point so therefore i can mention x belongs to a bar see this is one of the definition of closure set if you take any point from closure you can definitely write this one so therefore, therefore we get x belongs to a bar we started with x belongs to capital x and now we are proving it is in a bar so therefore x subset of a bar so in 2 we have proved a bar subset of x and now we are saying x subset of a bar let us combine 2 and 3. So, if you combine 2 and 3, we will get x is equal to a bar. So, in this way, we proved getting x is equal to a bar. This is definition of dense set. Therefore, a is dense in x. So, in this way, we proved in both ways. Okay, just make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.